Ask passerby outside MB Liquor in Campbellton about bringing beer over the border and you'll find almost everyone does it. But they aren't sure how much is legal. Do you know the limit right now? No. For beer, it's 18 bottles or cans. Oh, geez, that's not enough, geez. Shocking to some, for others, it's maddening. I think it's ridiculous. We're living in Canada. Why can't I go and get a dozen cases of beer if I want? I mean, you know, if you can buy uh, 12 cans or 12, uh, 12 uh, cans there for uh, $17 and here's about 27 big difference. Those kind of savings lure people from all over northern New Brunswick to the Quebec border town of pointe la croix They come from as far away as Tracady, a two-hour drive where Gerard Como lives. Michael Bernard is his lawyer. He had uh, 10 different cases of beer, uh, three bottles of liquor. Kummel was charged in a raid by RCMP in 2012. He's fighting his fine of $292.50. Bernard is taking on the case for free in hopes of changing the law. He's also representing four others charged in the same raid. We reached an agreement with the Crown uh, that ultimately the result that would follow with the Como case that uh, we would apply to the other individuals that were arrested on that same day. Bernard and his team are funded by the Canadian Constitution Foundation. It hopes to strike down the New Brunswick law that prohibits the transport of more than 18 bottles of beer across the border. Markham, Ontario lawyer Arnold Schweisberg. Section 121 of our Constitution says that the produce, goods and manufacturer of every provinces, every one of them, shall be, quote, admitted free, quote, into all the other provinces. In this particular case, we have liquor that not only wasn't admitted free from Quebec to New Brunswick, it wasn't admitted at all because it was in fact confiscated. At an earlier hearing, the presiding judge told the courtroom this case would be revolutionary if the lawyers succeed.